On today's episode of Watch Fiergo, we have something special for you. A car there may only be three to five of in the U.S. What is going on guys? I am Watch J Argo and behind me you can see a Toyota RAV4 and you're like, hey, yeah, there's like three million of those in the US. There's not. This is a Japanese import, a true right-hand drive Japanese import, 1995 Toyota RAV4 all-wheel drive manual. So my buddy Chaz just imported this from Japan. Where'd this, uh, where'd this come from? You went through the whole import process on this one. Yep, right? so it came out of a uh... It ended up coming out of Tokyo, essentially, but it came okay. from a smaller village. Can't remember the name of. I actually have it on the paperwork. But uh, yeah, I found it online. Uh, ordered it probably back in November, so November 2021. Wow. Um, yeah, they said that it would take about six weeks to get it, but with all the crazy stuff going on, it got here on six months. Yeah, yeah, February 19th. It was uh, delivered to the port of Freeport. Okay. Had to do all the customs documentation, all this stuff. It's old enough that it, you know, I didn't have any other big hurdles to fight and. Uh, Flew down to Houston, got a Turo, went out to the port, and essentially picked it up. Drove back, and uh, here we are. That is awesome. Well, it came in with a lot of stuff in it. We're going to get into this in a minute after we do a quick overview, but this is some of what we pulled out of the car, along with all of the Japanese chrome tint. Uh, I should show you guys that, and then we'll time warp to actually doing this stuff here. But this was on all the back windows, this old chrome tint that you couldn't see through and you couldn't see out. I mean, it was so bad that you had to pull the tint just to drive back to Kansas Yep. because obviously you're trying to look out of the back to change lanes and it was all just bubbled and you know, you couldn't see anything, it was bad. So what we do have here is some cool Japanese registration stickers. We've got that one there and this one, you know, every car, even that brand new, I think it was a 2018, that uh, Honda N1 I was driving, all these stickers have already faded and we're like breaking apart. Gone. Yeah, they, they fade out so fast. And then that one, uh, somebody mentioned what each one of these is. One of them's registration, one of them's uh, tax, and like one of them's parking or something like that. Like that. And every time, you know, there's a bunch of people in the comments that live in Japan or something and they're like, this is how it actually works. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, cool, thank you again. But I, I have no I idea, know. I don't need to yeah. know. I just, I need one sticker on the tag and we're good here in the US. But it is cool that uh, everybody knows what those are. And they're all still here on the RAV4 and Chaz is gonna leave them obviously, as you do when you import a JDM car. You just gotta leave them. This has plastic body cladding along the entire bottom. It still has factory wheels on it. The cool thing here is these aftermarket Bosch fog lights that are incredibly bright and look really good. Now you can join that Facebook group for uh, Safari lights, all the things. They look really good on this thing now. Oh yeah, what a look. So there you have those big sealed beam Bosch fog lights in yellow. It has an aftermarket roof rack on here, right? It looks aftermarket. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely aftermarket. And uh, I mean, you could definitely carry anything on this. The factory wind deflectors over the windows, which are very cool. I've never seen those before. I've not either. So a beefy roof rack on here that you could haul just about anything on. And then you can see right underneath it, it has dual sunroofs. And these are removable. You can actually pop both of them out. Open the back door here. It's a RAV4 J, if you'll notice that. Power rear wiper, third brake light. But once you get these sunroofs out, they store right here and they clip in. Yeah. So you unscrew those, then you put that over the latch. I see. Ah, great. It's just like T-Sops on a Camaro. Store your sunroofs on the back door. Uh, this is a four seater. You can see it's got these rear seats that uh, you can pull the headrests out, flip them all the way over. They've got the little jack stands, so you have tons of rear storage if you need it. And seats if you don't. Man, everything's perfect on this. So let's talk about some other crazy things this thing has. First of all, the dealer installed mud flaps with a pass through for the exhaust. Dealer installed rear step and definitely Japanese. You can see it still has all the Japanese print on it and Japanese rock sliders. These are RAV4 ones, so probably dealer installed. Mud flaps again, and that push bar is also an option that was probably installed by a dealer. And it's got an entire setup to mount that thing. You can look up under there and see all the bracketry that's holding that thing on. So really cool, you've got like, somebody went to the dealer and just went in on this. They just it's, checked every option, I guess. You got it all. 
So a very cool right-hand drive RAV4. So let's get under the hood. Now I can't wait to show you more of this crazy rare RAV4, but before I do, I need to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that can help you save more and spend less. With Truebill, you can cancel unwanted subscriptions, lower your bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. Are you spending more on streaming subscriptions now than you used to be spending on cable? Truebill can help you with that. It can help you find the subscriptions you don't need anymore and cancel them and save you that money every month, which we all know adds up in a big way. Truebill safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels those unwanted subscriptions with just a tap. It can also help you lower your bills simply by uploading a photo and tapping a button. Truebill can negotiate your bills for you from internet service bills to your cell phone and cable bills. Also, if you need a budget, it can help with that too. You can set budgets that automatically monitor your spending by category, get notifications when you've exceeded them and visualize your spend to earn ratio every month, quarter or year. And don't forget Truebill can also help you monitor your credit score so you can track those month to month changes. To try it out for free today, head on over to truebill.com slash watchjrgo or hit the link in the description below. Huge thank you to Truebill for sponsoring today's video and being a continued supporter of automotive creators like me. Now, back to the RAV4. It's dirty still, maiden voyage. It is the first drive. So is this like a two liter under here? Yeah, this is the three SFE. Okay. Yep, two liter. Has about 125 horsepower if you try hard. <laughs> if you try <laughs> hard. And this whole thing only has 50,000 miles on it, mm -hmm. uh, 80,000 kilometers on the clock there. And this is, honestly, it looks like it's never been touched. Yep. Everything under here looks OEM, just taken care of. Here's the old diagnostic connector. Yep. See if we can open it. I don't want to break it. Oh. I'm, it's a good thing it's a Toyota. You can still get it. There you're like, go. I'm just going to send it. There it goes. Crazy. I think it did break. Nope. Eh, it'll there snap. We go. There you go. It's perfect. IAT looks pretty stretched out. Oh, it's okay. It's got a little bit of wiggle room in there, but. Don't miss man, out on the ATV battery. The ATV well. battery from Panasonic is pretty cool, but I mean, the coolest part is this just has not been touched. Touch, nothing. So it's going to be perfect. Good reference. So going inside this thing, it has power windows, and Chaz also has a 90, what's your other one? A 90, uh, the other one's a 96. A 96. Two door, two wheel drive, automatic. And it has manual windows. It does, yep. So cool that they have all the options in this one, along with an auto window on the driver's side for auto down. You guys can see everything in here works. We've got power mirrors. There's the fog light control, uh, lighted key ring here. A, you know, the old school horns that are, you just, just rub it, that sensitive. Uh, gauge cluster is blue, which is pretty sweet. You've got fuel, coolant temp, uh, speedometer, and attack, and really nothing else there because what else do you need? You've got a clock right there. The digital clock was an option. Climate control, this is your button to select your all wheel drive. Uh, vacuum operated transfer case on here. And the coolest part of the car, the <laughs> Pioneer Carozia, the DEHP 5000, and this Alpine DSP. Unfortunately, the DSP does not work. It's missing the rest of it. So center console, very simple. Ashtray, shifter, little place to stash some stuff and some coin holders there along with the e-brake and the single cup holder. The other cup holder up here in the dash. If you floor it, you can uh, knock the drink over in your passenger's lap. These seats are incredibly clean. These floor mats rock. Take a look at the pattern in those floor mats. Such a cool 90s look right there. This is the cyberpunk car. Honestly, if this was cyberpunk 2077, this would be the car, I'd say. So these seats, pull the headrests out and they flip and then they flip again for maximum storage. Oh, those even clip in. Yep. And then it has a sweet headrest, a headrest holder. holder. Awesome. Man, there's plenty of room back here. I didn't even notice that rear cup holders too. You got rear cup holders hanging out there. Old tool storage right here. Oh, that's deep. Yep. Goes all the way in there. Yeah, this side has the jack. And... Oh. oh, and then by all JDM standards, you must have a safety vest oh, for okay, every part okay. of your daily lifestyle in case yeah. you're pulling over and putting a spare tire on. So now we're going to time warp just a little bit, take you back in time to when we pulled this thing in here in the middle of the giant ice storm today in Kansas and show you guys cleaning this whole thing up. We did a ton of work on it and then we're going to take it out for a test drive. Well, we decided to go ahead and do a full teardown on the RAV4 to take a look at all of the JDM electronics. Obviously the coolest things in the world. You can tell it's the JDM Pioneer because it says Carazio, Carazio era or whatever. 
the Alpine DSP that's in here is missing the module that used to sit somewhere in this car. So we were on a hunt for that because it doesn't power up. And we also are tearing out these old antennas. You saw them before. These are the Advent antennas here. And they're very cool. They're <laughs> extendable, very extendable. And they're diversity. So it had antennas on each side of the back door so you could get TV signal wherever you were in Japan. I mean, so much TV reception. Remember all the ones in America, we had the Alpine one that was amplified and just ran across the inside of the glass. But of course, you can't use any of these TV signals here in America. So the antennas are coming out of this thing. The uh, wiring rat's nest there used to run to the diversity TV tuner that then connected to screens on the dash so they could watch TV wherever they were. But we're getting it done here. So many wires are coming out from underneath this thing. <laughs> Check this out. That's the coolest part is these adapters. So these antennas actually just have like a 3.5 mil headphone jack, but it's adapted to standard uh, radio, car radio antenna there with that. Didn't it? Getting one. There we go. Nice. That's the two antennas. So many antennas. A eight this, foot long vehicle with 50 feet of wire. This guy had the best TV reception on the planet. And we still haven't found where the wires go from the Alpine uh, DSP. So we're <laughs> digging through there and pulling out all of this stuff. Here is more of the awesomeness that came out of the car. This is like a Panasonic GPS unit with a retractable antenna called the Gorilla. And there's power that's actually hardwired into the car for this. Uh, we don't have that cable out of there, but it goes in right there. Headphone jack there. This looks like a standard display. It is. You can see that has a special connector for this uh, DVD player here. So there's the monitor connector. And there's the voice activated DVD player. There's a microphone for that. And there's just so many cables coming out of these things. You tearing the whole back end down now? Well, I'm straight. The wire runs through the <laughs> jam right here. So it's pinched. Oh, of course it is. Panel. Of course it is. So after the wires ran through the plastic down there, uh, they came up above this screw and you can see where they were kind of outlined into the gasket there, the seal. And then they have some uh, twist ties from some bread holding the wires onto the main wire hearts for the door. And then they come up, lots of sticky tabs, tons of sticky tabs <laughs> there. And then they ran the antennas over and outside the door for their ultimate reception. You can see the outline of where the other antenna was right here. <laughs> You're getting it. Oh, this is going to be fully restored. Yeah. In just moments. Oh. <laughs> Here's another one. Yep. There it goes. Sticky stuff stayed behind. I'm going to have to use an eraser wheel on every part of this. Oh, car. you are. You are. It's been about 10 minutes. We've been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. We found uh, the <laughs> electrical taped in power to the TV. And then we pulled that out of the center of this. Oh, is that the ECU? It must be the ECU. Yeah, that's the ECU there. Yeah. All right. Okay. I thought that might have been part of the EQ. So we have not found the uh, head end for the EQ. So still searching, but we did find this nice Alpine amp, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, that's probably working perfectly. Uh, you should. Uh, oh, the radio's not plugged yeah. in. I was like, hook this, fire this thing up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we ended up pulling almost all of the interior out, all the carpet. We ended up getting all of this wire out of this thing. This is the wire from, uh, this powered the TV tuner, I would say. And uh, everything on the table is the rest of the old Japanese electronics that came out of this thing, including the Alpine amp because it wasn't actually hooked up to anything, we found out. Uh, that was originally going to that EQ and they disconnected the EQ and lost the main processor for the DSP EQ. So unfortunately, that's out of there. Anyway, ah, all the Japanese wire. So this, I think, is your... Uh... Oh, that was for the TV. Is it? Something. I just saw it up there. I wasn't sure I it came from. It sure looks like it's your... Uh... Uh, so the sun visor. Sun yeah, visor that's holder. what I thought at first, yeah. too. Coming off. We're making good progress. You know it's JDM because it still has the uh, fire extinguishing stick down there. <laughs> so the GTR had that really cool that all the JDM cars have that. And there's another flawless RAV4 floor mat down here. It just looks so cool. <laughs> Man, I haven't driven right hand driving 
in two months, so I forgot <laughs> how to do it. <laughs> this is so smooth and nice. I know, it drives like brand new. Unbelievable. You can tell, just going over that one bump, there's no suspension noise. Nothing. <laughs> you did it. Got me good. Yo, <laughs> it's so hard to remember. How I'll do, do it again before we even make it back. Oh yeah, yeah. Every time I'm like, how do you use turn signal again? AC works, the heat works. What a nice All the, the defrosters. All the bushings. I mean, we had the center console out to work on it and the shifter was immaculate. Like, unbelievably clean underneath there, no dust or anything. The shift bushings feel great. E-brake's probably great. Oh yeah, I it tested it on the way into the shop. <laughs> I love it. We are in two-wheel drive mode now, so if you want to go to four-wheel drive, just come to a stop, hit the button, wait on the light to illuminate, and you're good. Wait, really? It's yep. uh, yeah, it's that long easy. It yeah, just click it. Just one second. On. It's already on. Center diff lock. Yep. Interesting. All right, let's try this out. You can feel the front end okay. pickup. There's my exhaust vibration. Yep. Oh, it feels heavy now. Yep. Pretty awesome. Who? Can you uh, shift on the fly? Nope. Okay. Yep. So if you do. It'll just... It warns you that it's still in. Uh, I see. Now, if you, as soon as you come to a stop, it'll release and then the beeping will stop. Okay. Back to the winter wonderland. Yep. Little body roll there. <laughs> There's our uh, luggage rack noise. There's fifth. Yep. We're cruising. 80K, 90K. This is nice, man. How awesome. Teleport back to the 90s. It really is. But <laughs> like that fresh, perfect 90s stuff. Yeah. It's crazy that it's this low mileage and whoever owned it before actually maintained it. It also seems like most of the cars that are JDM that actually get imported are low miles. Yeah. Know? It's an island, you can't drive too far. That's true, that's true. All right, so diff lock should be disengaging. Yep. Come to a stop, the beeping will stop. Oh, full stop. It will not disengage. I'll try rolling back some more. Okay. Maybe we didn't go far enough. Nope. Usually it just releases. Oh, there it goes. There it went. I, I felt the little yep. clunk. Clunk. Everything's still there tight and works yeah, still well. It does. <laughs> Should I? Yeah. All right. Here it we go. It works really good. <sighs> nice rotation, yeah. actually. Yeah. It actually still locks it, up. It caught like instantly and I couldn't get back out of it fast. <laughs> Well, there you have an absolutely minty JDM right-hand drive RAV4. One of the few in the US and a really cool car, nice to drive. It feels like it's brand new. So congrats, man. Appreciate I, it. I mean, you've owned it for what? Uh, two days. Two days. I was yeah. gonna say three, but yeah, I mean, two days. I bought it in November, but yeah, I've had it for two days. Crazy. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjerrygo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And I will talk to you next time man people keep bringing me the rarest cars in the u.s mm -hmm. which is pretty that in one was like one of one yep. and this one's one of you know a handful yep pretty sweet that was fun to drive man thank you yeah no problem so we decided to see if the old gps works out of this thing the gorilla it does have this adjustable antenna which is pretty cute like is this battery charging or is it power on i don't know <laughs> oh there we go that definitely says do not use while driving I can read Japanese now. Just Wait, now it's in English. There we go. Nappy. Just a moment. Oh, now I can't read Japanese anymore. Hey, this is the same thing that happened on the N1. It literally said we were right there on the ocean the entire time we were in the car. <laughs> but uh, it's, we've got coordinates. Though. Oh, here's a scale. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Oh, this will tell us the port. Oops. We we don't know what's going on anymore. We need this. We need to use the <laughs> active translation. Let's try this one. Okay, that's the actual back. Oh, here we go. Nope. Uh, that's speech or or language. Could be language. It probably won't change until we uh, hit enter or something yeah, like that. Yeah. That's it there. Nothing. This is us just being pompous and assorting <laughs> it will even go to English. Yeah, it may not have English. Time for some problem solving. Chaz pulled out the uh, Google Translate live app there. Root instead of route. And eyes. Eyes. <laughs> Setting information. So, oh, it must be setting, right? Okay, that's voice guidance and current location, so. Can't be that. Back, all right, we got, it's loading. Translating. Map color, main screen. Yep. That's really not telling us much, what's? There's landma. Return, Landmark. return. Main screen, oh, there we go. Map color. Show balloon. There was one other screen, right? Yeah, I think so, let's see. 
Yeah, you sure can. You can use the whole car. <laughs> Later.